Hello my fellow T-Bags, Sinrix77 coming at you today and got a quick little uh, tutorial video for y'all about on how to make a mummy fob or mummy lanyard and this is one of a dozen right here that I have made for uh, Actually, I'll go ahead and let the cat out the bag. I've made it for L. Marshall 32. He uh, contacted me and asked me if I, uh, what I would charge him to make a dozen of these. Now, I'm not finished making them yet. Uh, I'm just a little over halfway through. Got quite a bit here. Got this one. Got this one. Now, uh, this one is ungutted, 550 paracord, which means it still has the guts in it. Uh, this is gutted, 550 paracord. This is also gutted, 550, and I really like uh, the way this one turned out. It looks just downright freaking awesome. Now you can see on some of these uh, I have little white strings dangling off the end. That's for you to thread your lanyard through whatever you're uh, going to attach it to. If it needs to be threaded through, you already have the thread there to thread it through. This is uh, ungutted right here. This is one of the only two that I've done that are ungutted. The rest have been gutted. Uh, they're all different lengths. Uh, some of them are shorter than the others. Some of them have different features, like this one. I started, uh, it has a fat bottom on it, skinny top, kind of cool. Uh, and this is one of the uh, only two that I've done that have uh, had the uh, tops uh, done going down in a third cobra weave to give them a look of shoulders. Uh, so that's that. And right now I am working on yet another one. I went ahead and got it started, but I can show y'all pretty much uh, how I start them. It's real simple. Okay. Now, what I've done is I have uh, fused right there you see the fusion spot two pieces of gutted 550 cord and I've threaded my bead on there and my beads approximately at the spot where I want it to be uh, at its full length now uh, what we're going to do is they tell you to start with an S don't start with an S. You're going to start with a simple little loop. You take your outside uh, cord and you loop it under the chin of the skull like so. It kind of gives it like a little dog ear at the side. Then you take your other piece and it goes over the top and through that loop and that's how I get mine started. Uh, some uh, people will tell you that you have to do this uh, little S thing no, in my opinion, you don't have to do that. And then after I put it through the loop, I cinch it all down. And that's how I get it started. Uh, that, it's tight. It's not as tight as I want it to be, but that will actually come into play after I do my next stitch. And it's the same thing. Uh, as you can see here, the red the blood reds coming out from behind the black and the blacks coming in front of the red all right you can see that well you take the one that's coming from the back and you make your other loop and it's the same thing you take your uh, black wrap it and pull it through and this one i'm going to get taut and i'm actually going to take a pair of pliers and i'm going to uh pull down and that's how I'm going to uh, 
I'm going to pull down on the tail, the loop, uh, and it's going to tighten my first knot down for me. And now I can just work myself the rest of the way, and I'm going to come out with a nice single braided cobra weave, stubby, uh, fob, lanyard, zipper pull, whatever you want to use it for. Uh, keychain I have one that I made myself uh, ki that's coyote brown and uh, black that's awesome looking y'all seen it I believe I believe I got it in the video I'm not sure but yeah uh, it was made out of the uh, bead that uh, Superfly Fat Guy 859 sent me Brother Paul. <laughs> uh, now this is not one of the ones for Marshall. This one I'm making is actually going to be for myself. Because I really like this blood red and black color combination. And I have yet to make anything for myself. And yes, I'm basically doing this free-handed... getting a tight 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 taut weave and uh, that's what I want and yes I'm using pliers for my pulling because A I can get a much better tighter pull and B I don't sit there and do stuff like that y'all see that that is from uh, making this I actually took two chunks out of my pinky, so the missus told me never again, free-handed, so I can't do it freehand no more. I have to have tools, because what the missus says goes. Y'all know how it works. All you married people out there know how it works. Uh, now, I don't know what everybody else's secret is uh, behind their paracord work because it's all the same stitching. Uh, some people use a jig. I do not. Uh, and it's for no other reason other than the fact I just don't own one. And I'm not worried about that fusion spot between the gutted pieces because a lot of people say uh, it's not as sturdy uh, as it would be with, say, like, you know, ungutted paracord. And they're right. It's not as solid. But as tight as I do my weaves and the fact that that is, is like, already, like, right in this area of it. I have like three or four weaves on top of it. It's not going anywhere. Now this is at the point where I want to sit here and I'm stretching the tail out because it's going to sit there and straighten my little stubby lanyard out for me. Uh, I do not. I'm going to try one more stitch, but I don't know if it's going to work too well. But there's only ever one true way to find out now, ain't they? So like I said, this one right here is for me. It's not for anybody, so... Ah, there we go. Now, there's only two things left to do. That's cut and burn. Now, got me a nice little block of wood here. Got me my uh, SOG filter. I'm going to try that opening again.
Uh, there we go. How do you like the spotty flick on an SOG? Uh, this one, as you can see, nice and polished. But uh, there we go. You can see it also has a recent addition of the Edge of Sin. Can't have a shiny knife without a shiny edge. And for those of y'all who uh, just don't believe, just don't believe, it's that simple. Very little pressure at all. It just popped off. Uh, now here comes my favorite part, burn. Because uh, what I do is I burn the ends and I smear. Yes, I'm a smear. I can't help it. I like a little smear on my bagel. And I do a little smear on my paracord. It's a, it's a smear thing. Uh, because to be perfectly honest, uh, the gutted stuff is no longer meant for the purpose of survival or anything like that. You could use it, but it's totally lost all of its strength. And rigidity to the fact, due to the fact that it is gutted. Uh, so that's why I like to do the smear on the ungutted. I just do a press, oh, I mean, uh, a smear on the gutted and I press on the ungutted. Because, uh, uh, bada bing, there we go. And with time and a little bit of coursing, you can get uh, all the kinks. And stuff out it wears itself out you know and stretches and I already got it some of it what you think tell me what you think of those beads y'all how's that there's my ugly dome right there right there <laughs> ha now here we go Thank you very much for watching. Uh, as you can see, that's all the paracord I got right there. Getting kind of slim on the black. Lots of yellow left. Uh, a little bit of coyote brown left. Very little uh, toxic green. And a decent amount of blood red. But, that's that. Brother Marshall. As you can see, bro, uh, I, I might give you this stubby one. I don't know. I have been just knocking them out the park. So we got seven of them right here already. Uh, I just got my skulls in yesterday. So... Sir, I have a fistful of language for you. Uh, it's a lot of skulls on the screen again. <laughs> All right, thank y'all for watching. And no, Marshall, you're not getting this one because uh, this one's going to actually be the uh, static cord for. Ah, uh, uh, yes. for my tax straw. Uh, so I thank all y'all for watching. Brother Marshall. Hope you appreciate it, dude. Uh, uh, all these are going to the same person. Plus uh, five more. And that means I have two more to do in the blood red because I'm doing them in groups of three. And I got three to do in yellow. So, yellow or uh, I might do solid coyote. I'm not sure on the last one yet. But yeah, no, yellow. I want to do the yellow. So, thank you all very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it's been uh, entertaining as well as educational. Thank you very much for watching. Keep your finger on the choil. And have a nice day, y'all. Bye.